Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Ungodly Geeks. Uh, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And I'm Ron. And today we're going to be discussing some news topics that are of interest to us. Newsy news! Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with, you know, the obviously the, the elephant in the room, I guess, is the tragedy surrounding Zack Snyder stepping down from the Justice League. His mm-hmm. daughter committed suicide and it's absolutely terrible, but... There is some silver lining to this dark cloud that Josh Whedon is now taking over. From a nerd fanboy standpoint, oh, right? Right. Up Anyways, the slack. They're I not couldn't. Have to I couldn't it. imagine. Yeah, I no, couldn't it, imagine. It's got to be. It's got to be terrible. It'd but, be over for me. <laughs> but you know, for us, it's it's amazing for us fans. I mean, my heart goes out to the guy. My heart goes out to the guy's family. But hey, you know, now we're gonna get what we think will be a really good Justice League movie. At least um, something that might. You know, change some of the scenes. The, the well, I mean, the principal photography's done. The movies, yeah. the movies d- wrapped, and it, they handed it over to Joss Whedon for the reshoots, right? And just to see the movie to the finish line, right? Now, like, I don't know how much they could fit it. The movie releases in less than six months, so you can't really change a whole lot, right? I don't know. Rogue I One ho- changed quite a bit from the original, especially the ending is the big thing they changed. Uh, all the things you see in the trailers, they're not in the movie at all. The ending completely changed. Mm. Yeah, you so, got a I point mean, there. I, I think I think there can be definitely scenes added, well, but I hear you. They've both that's they're not going to reshoot also the movie. In Rogue no, one, no, no. It was like but, what a two minute Vader sequence. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it was I'm fifteen seconds, but it was amazing. It was the best yeah. fifteen <laughs> best seconds 15 in cinema. Seconds ever. <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, come on, uh, they can do a lot and. Uh, for me, I'm excited because now I know it's not going to be dark and gritty. It, it's going to yeah. Be... I I just hope I don't turn expect him to change it. I, yeah, I just <laughs> hope him to turn the saturation level yeah, up, yeah, and the I mean, brightness level up, just a so little that bit. we can have uh, yeah. we can see what the fuck's going on. You know, isolate Batman like you said before we started recording. <laughs> make him dark, and then make everybody else <laughs> nice and bright, and maybe give Superman more than forty eight lines in the movie. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee he's got less than that. I bet you <laughs> thirty six. I bet you he's he... gonna come back with a mullet, a black suit, and he's just gonna grunt. Even if he comes <laughs> back at the halfway point, I guarantee you he's just gonna do the like the Ed, like I'm so serious face. Oh, jeez. Uh, his his face it looks film. like he's kind of constipated a little bit. I can imagine. I got a poop. <laughs> he. I mean, this Clark doesn't seem like he has a lot to say yeah. unless you know agged or pushed so and that's the that's, yeah. you know that kind of bothers me as a fan because it's like superman was intelligent he's not a dumbass or anything so because so it's like oh so you basically turned him from a super intelligent being into a grunting gorilla thanks you know um i always i always liked the idea of superman as kind of naive right and uh he's a boy whole, scout what does uh, lois lane constantly call him um fuck all i can think of is smallville yeah, yeah. Uh, I, he's kind of that country he, bumpkin attitude. And yeah, like well, that. I, I always like that. Yeah, he, that's where he was raised. So yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Well, I, but I don't know, dude. I mean, it's hard for me to to comment on it because I, right. I I loved Man of Steel, and I kind of mm-hmm. I kind of you know it could be better. Mm-hmm. His character or his character in general should be better. But yeah. at, at the core, he he does have that like small town kind of like yeah. i'm just a dude from kansas kind of vibe yeah like he seems like a pretty normal guy but i can see what you guys are saying though yeah it just it just bothers me because i mean i grew up with superman i grew up with cartoons and justice league and all that crap and not once during any of that that, that those many many formative years that i ever get the impression that superman was stupid but when i watch these movies i get that impression more than i ever have and i hate it yeah, yeah. He yeah. keeps. It's bit. hard to comment because because BVS was just he didn't was, get any time. It in was that just movie. off, and it it was not. That was Batman done. with Superman doing things basically, and you know, cameo by Wonder Woman. Speaking of which, I'm I, I like Batman, yeah. but I'm tired of Batman. <laughs> I, yeah, I, really I mean, am. but you know, back to the topic. I, hopefully, Zack Snyder, you know, did a much better job this time around. And uh, Joss Whedon, you know, doesn't yeah. have to do a whole lot, and hopefully, just crank those brightness and turn those the color brightness and the yeah. saturation up, yeah. and just I, release the movie yeah. already. I'm, my body is ready. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I want this to be a good setup for the rest of the DCU. Right. Um, that's that's. I think I, I I don't know why, but I have all these 
fucking like hopes in my head. Like, oh, maybe somebody sh- Green Lantern will show up, or they'll tease um, any any number of other heroes. Move, you know, characters that don't have movies slated right now, maybe, or you know, maybe there'll be a fucking a glimpse of Nightwing in it or something like that. But I mean, at the same yeah. time, I can't. I don't really expect yeah, BV- that stuff. And BVS did a did a lot to. Did more than Man of Steel to like set up the universe. They introduced like the new gods and like Steppenwolf and yeah. I mean, and he's you know the stuff that uh, Lex said at the end of the movie and all that. But like, set up your characters this yeah, time. Be yeah. it like a, a flash of lightning. I don't care. I mean, just, I, as just, a fan, I know that's a reference to like. I think Shazam, Shazam. like. Right, like show a fucking green flash go across. I don't give a I don't give a shit. Do yeah. start some, hint, do start something to build your universe in yeah. terms of showing that uh, these other characters are there. Like in Man of Steel, there were so many opportunities for them to like plant seeds, but they just didn't. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. Man of Steel was one hundred percent Superman. In Man of Steel, was Man you of just... Steel even meant to <clears throat> kick off the universe? Oh yeah, like, I guess, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, guess it, it was like it was, one but... of the crash satellites. Satellite said a uh, uh, Wayne Enterprises Wait, on okay. it. Uh, when Zod and him are fighting at the end, they fly past a building. That's a, a reference to Booster Gold. Mm-hmm. Like there are little things all over in that movie. Little tiny and the Easter chick eggs. at the end seem, of the movie. Yeah, they seem more Easter eggy than like. Oh, we'll see. What the chick at the end of the movie that works for the Air Force. She had Ferris. Okay. On her, you know, Carol Ferris and right. But, I don't know. I feel like they definitely could have done more, though. But I mean, I'm kind of contradicting myself there. But that 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 wasn't mm. that wasn't really like dark. I said. Like I said, I, it, would, I want him to actually. Like I said, it felt yeah. more Easter eggy than hey, this character is going to show up soon. So I need, yeah, I need more than a name tag or like a a name on a building. Yeah, granted, right. I will give them for <laughs> or a that movie. Uh, I'm I'm glad they weren't looking so far ahead. They made that movie first, and then with BVS is the one they screwed up by getting um, thoughts of grandeur, it seems like, and planning everything out before they you know, had everything set up. No, well, BVS's problem was it just tried to take too many, like, huge too spots many movies from the source material, one. like the death of Superman yeah. and the Dark Knight, and you're just taking and, – and both of those deserve their own time in the sun, and you, you're taking those huge – Huge, huge things in comics, and you're just boom and cramming the them into this Batman movie and together. Yeah, oh, I well. don't know, dude. I, I at least that's cross your fingers. Let's hope uh, Justice League turns out a lot better. It uh, looks about it looks it looks the same, <laughs> but uh, I'm giving to give it the benefit of the doubt. You know, it until can, I'm it can in look, that theater chair. It until, can look the same. Just it'll, just make it brighter. Make it so that we can see what's going on. You guys, it's not just a it's not just a splash of of gray. Yeah, with you guys like know some, me. Like it'll have the benefit of the doubt with me yeah. until like a week a- even a week after I've seen I it. Just <laughs> say, about yeah, a month no, later, like, you'll come crawling in like guys. The movie was terrible sucked. until my <laughs> Phantom Menace syndrome wears off, and I'm like that act. Oh, that was God. fucking terrible. What is wrong with them? Yeah, but. Uh, uh, all right, so let's let's move on a little bit here. Um, I want to touch on this just real quick. Uh, Variety reported Sunday that uh, the German studio Constantin that owns the rights to the Resident Evil movie franchise wants to do another six movie reboot. And you know, I get why it made tons of money, but what the fuck, the last man? One didn't make too much. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, the entire made. the entirety it, it didn't do well here. Yeah. No, but it's it's like the Fast and the Furious movies and stuff well, like no, that. Well, no, those always do. Well. I'm pretty uh, okay, sure. hold up. Uh, Transformers. Transformers. Yeah, it's like it's overseas that makes yeah. it do really well, uh, and so because of overseas markets, us here in the United States are going to be cursed with another six Resident Evil movies. I would have to look it up. You you you're probably right, but I'm pretty sure this last one was just a bomb in general. But all the other ones, the other five. Right. Well, the franchise has made one point two billion. Like they they yeah. they make so their like, money back. It's not it's not like a it's not a it's 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 fucking amazing for for what they've invested. So I mean, they've made their money back, and then some, and then but, a lot. Uh, they got. Um, I'm hearing. I heard James Wan is linked to it, and that would lead me to believe that 
they're heading in a more horror centric kind of direction, which, which is, is where good. they really need to be. Because I need, mean, they were never really action. They games. were never Resident Evil movies. Like the first one, kind of right. Well, like, was, like I, I love the first one. First one is one good. of my favorite yeah. horror movies. First one was the only one that ever. It, it, it's one of those. Beats. It's one of those series yeah. where like. It got progressively worse the more they went. The second one, after he got some success, after Paul W.S. W. S. Anderson got some success with yeah. the first one, he's like, I'm an alien nerd and I'm a James Cameron nerd. Yeah. I want to take this and I want to turn, I want my own Ripley, powerful female heroine character and I want to turn it into a sci fi epic and shit. And yeah, it just didn't work as well. It made no damn sense. I mean, and, and they and, had nemesis. In and when you look at the too. source mm-hmm. material, the source material was never actiony. It was never super action packed. It was all about ambience, and was all about it was about atmosphere, and it was about the hopelessness that you felt. And in those movies, they just turned it into name. Yeah. yeah, even though, <laughs> yeah, you really couldn't. But even even you look, yeah. rem- remember back for moments in them other games like they had like there were explosions yeah there was shit going down right you had an ak like dun 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 like spraying yeah, in the direction launcher. but yeah. it still it was still rooted in like uh it was a like really a, it was horror vibe. yeah yeah like i said it, it went more for ambience and atmosphere and you never know what the fuck was going to come out until until four where four changed it but four was still horror and action i'd argue that four had a better ambiance, at least for majority of the game. Once right. you get later on and you pack and heat, you're pretty much good. But yeah. especially early on in that game, yeah, that was some really tense moments. In really, there. really, really crazy that's shit. True. I mean, that's much, you know, much more n- like current in my memory. Like the other yeah. ones, it's hard to comment because, like, I mean, nostalgia. <laughs> three, three is still my one of my favorites, and I, I've played it pretty recently because I have it on my Vita, and. um I mean, yeah, it it still it still holds a lot of that that holy shit. What am I going to do? Yeah. Oh my god, the nemesis just broke into a fucking window. He's going to kill me. <laughs> that's so like, that's my most like that's that's the my memory from Resident Evil is Resident Evil Three Nemesis, where right. like you uh, you play it now, you know when he's kind of come out or when he's not. But when I played that when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I was on edge the whole fucking game. Yeah, because I never, had no clue when he was going to jump. You out never and come knew. At me. You never knew. And honestly, even now, like it's still kind of pseudo random. But I don't uh, know. My big takeaway from this, and something I think is so fucking stupid, is don't come out and tell us we're making six more Resident Evil movies. Yeah, no, fuck you. Tell us you're going to reboot Resident Evil. You've got James Wan, which is awesome. Right. You're going to, it, it, it looks like they're taking it in a direction the games did. God. Which would be amazing. Like that use, guy is use, new game use looks your source material. Fantastic. Use your source material because there's yeah. so much there. And there's so much good stuff there. And I really do believe that that could make a good movie franchise if you just used what you have available. Um, I think Honestly, I think the old Resident Evil story, getting away from it, is important because it's cheesy. It is. But Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's good for the games. But honestly, the movies, it was it just went total cheese factor. Yeah. Because I don't think you could really adapt the game, the later games, very well. Yeah, yeah. I think I actually I think it is kind of hard to adapt because yeah. it, it kind of has that that Asian Japanese vibe to it with like Le- Leon and it. It's just got that like anime kind of yeah. He definitely has his anime hair yeah vibe to it. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I go no, I mean like that that that's like the, the the point I'm getting is like yeah, they had the more anime style with that game. You need to stay with the Resident Evil movie unless you're going in the four direction. Four would work. Just yeah. do four by the just copy four. Well, that's the problem is when you're adapting a game to a movie, you can't ever just take straight out the story that doesn't work they've tried no. that multiple times it's it, just, it, uh, it usually ends in like, failure paul yeah. anderson he he i remember fucking listening to uh, a, a behind the scenes feature at for jeepers creepers 2 and uh even though that guy's a piece of shit pedophile uh he 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 originally intended for jeepers creepers 2 to uh you know, follow the first two characters of the of, of the the character from the movie. She's gonna go find her brother, right? And hunt down yeah. the the creeper, right? And they come along these kids in the bus and whatever, and and then the kids are gone. And he's like, actually, in retro, and he sat and thought, like, I'm missing the best part of my own story, and that is 
the kids in the bus. Right. And he totally threw all that other shit out, and it was just kids in a bus. Which was getting actually tormented. really entertaining. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I love that I feel that like movie. Paul, Ander- Paul Anderson, in the second one, he missed the best part of his story. Like, you start out with Joe Valentine, mm-hmm. and, like, it fe- like stuff's kind of going down in a police station. And then yeah. it, and it's off to this, a Alice, this Alice shit. Yeah. Right. And like no, no, Super buddy, you you miss you miss the best part. Yeah. You need to be in Raccoon City where all, all the, the shit's, shit's going, going down, down. As with Jill Valentine or Claire. Chris Redfield. Please have Claire in it. Claire's my uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, Claire is a, his is his Resident Evil waifu. So I mean, <laughs> man, if, you uh, could fuck it. Throw them all in there. Get Leon in there. Get Claire yeah, in no. there. Get Jill in there. Get fucking Wesker. Who's that? Carlos. 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 Carlos is an unsung hero from Resident Evil. Nobody gives a shit about Carlos. I like Carlos. Carlos uh, is a badass what's motherfucker. What's the guy's name in Zero? Anybody play that? Oh, uh, oh, I oh, remember. oh! I can't remember. I don't his think name. he even makes but, it out of the. But mansion. Carlos was like a huge part of this. Yeah, stuff. he was. He, he saved your life in the third one. Yeah, like two or three times, yeah. like multiple times. You pass out and during a fight with the nemesis. And he, he somehow fucking gets the nemesis away and then gets you to safety in a fucking church. Yeah. So, I mean, come on, dudes. Carlos. Carlos is a badass Carlos motherfucker. Give me way. a movie about Carlos. You know, I, I honestly think you want to make those movies better, you just take out Alice's superpowers. If yeah. that was just people <clears throat> dealing with that crazy shit, you've got a good horror movie. That's true. Absolutely, yeah. Got, you even with them being fucking heavily trained soldiers. that they created away. Well, luckily, yeah. Mila Jovovich isn't going to be around this time, so we're well, not going to... Yeah. Not having the director who she's yeah, married I mean, to, whatever. Speaking of childhood is. crushes, Lilu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dallas Multipass. <laughs> she was fucking adorable, I have to admit. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, hopefully this next one so, is like, uh, a horror movie, and right. it's a... a f- it's a fitting adaptation of the fucking source material. This Which time. I think I think you can do with the right. You right can't just way. like oh I want a sci-fi epic. No, and then throw in a couple characters from the movie. Right. Like, not even characters. I mean enemies. Like you see the big butcher in right. the, one of the movies. Like fighting I think that in the was, shower, just picking and taking just fucking pieces. Like hey, well, yeah, that, that, was, that, that was, looked cool. Let's was, steal that and it throw was, it in this fucking movie. It was they definitely were, cherry picking at its yeah. finest. They were guilty pleasure movies and I yeah. enjoyed watching them we, with my brain turned off. The one you just referenced trash. had common in it and he was really fucking good in that movie. Yeah. Uh, he was he was the best part of that movie. I didn't even see that one after the third I think one. it was, was it? that wasn't common, was that? Yeah, it was common. He was they were in the prison. That was that was and uh, I think you're thinking of another. I might be thinking of another zombie movie. Guy. No, I, th- I actually might be thinking of another zombie movie. But I know I I remember that, that big fuck, and she's fighting him in like a bathroom. Yeah, showers or some crap like that. Uh, no, uh, fucking Alice. Alice is fighting him in a bathroom. Yeah. And yeah, a shower, a locker room, shower room, something like that, and it's like. I'm, I I want to say it was in a prison or it was a, in a big compound type thing. Um, I'm gonna I'm I haven't watched the movie. However, I watched, listened to the entire podcast that uh, Jim Sterling and the guy he does the, uh, movie reviews with. Yeah, right. Uh, not to cut you off. The, it was the black prison. guy's <laughs> name is Boris Kodjo. He played Luther West. So I must be okay. thinking of another zombie movie because I know yeah. that there was a, mo- a zombie <laughs> movie with Common. You're so. thinking of uh, Dawn of the Dead. Was it Donald the Dead? I think so. Dude, it's all zombies. I don't which fucking is, know anymore. Which is, re- <laughs> and, uh, I think, the best zombie movie ever made, the, t- the Dawn of the Dead remake. It was really good. Yeah, yeah dude. Good on you, Zack Snyder. I, only because I love uh, the original Night of the Living Dead so much, whether black and white and being that old. That, But, yeah, Dawn of the Dead was fucking good. Yeah. Everything after that, oh, fuck. All right, so we got a little bit of uh, news that has come out about you know, there, there's not a whole lot right now, but uh, the Witcher three or not the Witcher three, but the Witcher Netflix series. You just called the Witcher three Netflix series. I mean, honestly, <laughs> with what we just got, yeah, I might as well. Uh, I'm apparently, so excited. For apparently, this, man. their Netflix is going with more of CD Projekt's red interpretation of Geralt as opposed to the original book Geralt, which I think is actually a really, really good improvement because the book Geralt is a fucking dick, whereas the Geralt in the Witcher three and the Witcher series video games. is He's a pretty cool guy, he's man. He's a lovable, he's old, a tired douchebag. Yeah, exactly. He's the perfect definition of the reluctant hero, where it's like, yeah. he's just there, something's happening, it's like, oh, Witchers don't fuck. get involved, witchers don't get involved, witchers don't get involved. Next scene, he's involved. Yeah. And it's uh, fucking make, great. Make it's, it's, a met, it's fantastic. Like, a, a, any time that's ever popped up in, in the game, I, I love doing it. So, I mean, for me, that, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I mean... 
I, I've not read the books, I'll admit, but I, I know people who have, and they, they he's a dick. Like, he's straight up a, he, he's straight up a dick. But yeah. then again, the, the, like, Triss and Yen are different characters in there, too. Like, Triss is a conniving, traitorous bitch, and, you and know, they, Yen is just Yen, so. Yeah, <laughs> she's just a cunt, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. But she's a but lovable she, cunt. But yeah. she, 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 I don't even know that she's lovable. <laughs> she just, she loves you. <laughs> I mean, I find her lovable. I thought she did, anyways. I didn't even know she was like she was hard. That character was hard to read. Oh, this is soul. Trish came off like a sweetheart. She definitely loves Geralt. Like I, I have no doubt in my mind. Puts up with his shit, right? I mean, (laughs) he puts up with her shit, so it it, it balances out. But I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that she definitely loves Geralt. She loves Siri, so it's all good, man. You know. But yeah, I thought that was a little interesting note that I wanted to kind of bring up and on to other things. According um, to uh, according to early impressions, Wonder Woman is looking really, really good. Um, there's not much because there's an embargo, so we don't actually have any real but reviews. People have like there's an embargo, so people can't like come out and review it. But everybody they can, can kind of wink and nod and like yeah. ever. I haven't I haven't seen anyone have a negative opinion, and these are all people on YouTube and stuff that right. who, whose opinion that I I kind of trust a little bit. Mm. I mean, at, at this point, um, with both BVS and uh, uh, Suicide Squad, the news was not good. Right. So the fact that it is that, that, that there is goodwill and there's a lot of positive um, energy or whatever you want to say, like people just saying, "Yeah, I loved it." Yeah. Um, makes me excited for this movie even more so. I can't see it coming out and being shit after after all yeah. of the positivity that you're seeing online. I right, yeah. I can't see it coming out and being Suicide Squad or oh. being uh, No. Yeah, no. Suicide Squad was such a disappointment. Like it was it was such a huge letdown. I can't I can't see people just saying it's good the f- for the sake of it being the first the female superhero movie. What the fuck even movie was either. Suicide Squad in retrospect? I mean, it wasn't the first female superhero <laughs> movie, but it's the first the good first one. The first major one, yeah. yeah first from, good one. From uh, either of these studios. Suck it, Marvel. DC beat you to the punch in one area. Hey, well, they got to have one good movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel's behind Catcher like we're getting cat we're gonna bring in Captain Marvel. You go ahead, Marvel. Alright, that's yeah. cool, dogs. We got fucking Wonder Woman here. Wonder Woman looking badass as fuck. So yeah, all right. I mean, out of any D C characters like you're gonna do a movie of, you're doing a Batman movie, a Superman movie, a Wonder Woman movie, a Green Lantern and a Flash. Um like yes, it it, it should be a no brainer that you make a good Wonder Woman movie. Absolutely. You have she's Wonder Woman. It's She's just a the... fucking badass character. Yeah. A literal all around. You you're taking essentially uh uh a female Trojan warrior. Yeah. Uh, I'm a female or, Spartan. Spartan, yeah. Yeah. And putting them in World War One. <laughs> yes. That'd be so yes, cool. Please. I feel like in the, the Justice League kind of situation, she's kind of the heart and soul of the Justice League. So, oh yeah, you yeah. need to nail her. Like you can do Batman; you don't have to get him uh, perfect. Until Superman, you get the flash obviously, down. you you don't have to get him done. Yeah, you don't no, have to get he's him not perfectly, but yeah, yeah you she's, need to nail Wonder Woman. You, you got to get her. You gotta, right. She's got to be perfect, and the way things are trending right now, it definitely seems like it is, and that she is, and make, that makes me really excited because we are. About a week away from the release now. I think it releases uh, it releases next Friday, if I recall correctly. Yep. And it's like, fuck yes, bring it to me, give it. I am I'm ready. I'm so excited for this movie. <clears throat> I am, yeah, I'm absolutely pumped. And like I said, all this goodwill, it just makes it all the better. I've, they've released a bunch of clips and stuff, but I, so I mean, I was going to say there. I'm kind of, I'm kind of. Well, I didn't watch them, oh, okay. but yeah, no, I, for I'm, obvious I'm, reasons, I don't want. to to spoil the fucking movie but mm-hmm. i think it was seven clips they released but i aside from that that like major like nerdy easter eggy stuff as to what they're incorporating from you know the shared universe like yeah. i haven't seen anything and i'm really curious to see well they what they do right they had mentioned early on like with who this movie, else if anybody will be in it um affleck's i, I want to say affleck's in it but i know the very end of the movie is apparently going to take place Either, yeah, post uh, BVS. The very end of this, I, I'm almost positive, like, they talked about that way early on in development. Wow, I've never that, heard that That, that there's anywhere. definitely going to be a part of this movie that takes place modern time to the rest of the universe. 
That's cool. So I think that's going to happen in the end. Unless that got scrapped, maybe it's post-credits. I don't know. But I, I remember that being something people talked about for a little while. And then I know, we got those trailers, and oh I've, my god, I want to see her punch Germans. Yeah, I fully, I fully expect it to like flesh out the new god stuff and dark side stuff more because you see that huge battlefield, like with all with you know the like them being invaded and the Amazonians fighting off whatever. Yeah, the fuck. I'm assuming that's you know dark side's forces, right? What I else mean, could it was that be? Germans. <clears throat> no, I mean in the old and. You see the Amazonians oh, yeah, yeah. fighting oh, in that battlefield. Yeah. That scene, like so, I that makes well, me think they're going to set up. Hey man, yeah. we're we're close now, and and we're we're talking about it. And I'm like, I want to see it now. Oh, I'm yeah. getting even more hyped for it. Like, fuck yes, bring it to me. God, but, these movies just seem like they just feel like they're just fucking just ate forever. Like Guardians yeah. too. Like. I've, that movie should have released two weeks before it did. Like, uh-huh. just release the <laughs> fucking movie, man. Oh, my they God. I just those dates. I got to do that hype train, I feel man. like I've been yeah. waiting for this movie forever. Yeah. For Forever. Yeah, no. Uh, it's kind after. of the, this summer. It's it's getting from one big release to the next. Yeah. It, it's um, it's so agonizing. Like, yeah. Like for, for right me. after this movie, I bet we get it. We're gonna get a, another Justice League trailer, and then it's gonna be five agonizingly long months <laughs> until November. It's like, oh no! Like right now, I could see them splicing something together. I mean, at least we get together. Spider-Man before then, and uh, I'm sure there's other things. Mummy, <laughs> when, which when, I'm hyped for. I'm hyped for that yeah. Mummy movie now. I I might go see it. Like did I might have to because did you see the Jekyll trailer? I did not. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Is it good? Show oh, him start yeah. flipping. Oh, oh, he starts flipping uh, shit. We get we he flips we got the table. We got crow <laughs> <laughs> fighting around the world. <laughs> pre- 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 they got a stupid name. They're they're not they're prodigium they, or like, some shit. Delete the word shield and just put prodigium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have to look this up later yeah. after we're done here because I got to see this. Prodigium. Because that sounds prodigium. That sound, whatever. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Like, yeah, I think I'll have to see the Mummy movie. Like, I was originally going to skip it because I'm not a Tom Cruise fan, but I got to say, it, it's the way they're starting the, their universe off, the way they're kicking it. Fingers and, crossed. And the way the they're unit. doing they're I mean, the way they're doing it in modern times, like, okay, I got to see this now. Also, I want to see how they're doing it. if you that. get a chance, uh, Universal released a group photo of, uh, oh, like, yeah. Javier Bardem. He's going to play Frankenstein's monster. Javier Bardem's playing the villain. In the new Pirates movie, he was in No Country yeah. for Old Men. Yeah. He's awesome. Johnny Depp's in the picture. Tom Cruise is in the picture. Russell like, Crowe. Russell Crowe's in the picture. The right. chick who's playing the mummy's in the picture. So, and if they got her in that picture, <laughs> I don't think, she, I hope she, I hope anyways they don't just kill her off in this movie. I hope she <laughs> sticks around. And she's, no, no, she totally I, gets blown up I, by I she, C4. I hope she's actually the mummy and Tom Cruise isn't the mummy. Like every, <laughs> I hope he's actually. He's going to have some powers though. I like, yeah, I mean, he flips a car in one of the new trailers, or like jumps forty feet. See, I haven't happens. seen that because I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. I don't want to see it anymore. But uh, I, I that picture. If you get a chance to look at it, just make sure you look at Russell Crowe's hand. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about this on the Screen Junkie show where it looks, honest to God, like he was leaning on a cane and they photoshopped the cane out. <laughs> it looks photoshopped to hell to, put, to the point where you got to ask yourself, like, were these people even I in the same room? I want them to have been in the same room. Probably not. Um, I love that they have to have, like, Johnny Depp leaning and uh, I, somebody else is sitting down. Javier, Javier Bardem. Bardem is sitting down. <laughs> because they're so, so much Tom taller. Looks so because he's like five foot seven or some shit. Yell, everybody Everybody like except five, five. Tom Cruise in the trailer is just dressed to the nine. They're all like these people are fucking billionaires and they're right. they're wearing sparkling outfits. And Tom Cruise is just like yeah, whatever. He's just in his <laughs> shirt, black pants. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, He's man. Tom motherfucking Cruise. He, he doesn't give a one. shit. Don't give a fuck about your fancy dress. <laughs> Zenu allows it. <laughs> My name is Tom Cruise, and fuck you. I can do whatever I want. Exactly. He never goes back. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to some other topics. Is, is that all we needed to, to talk about on movies? Nothing else we really wanted to touch on. Um, mm-hmm. DC's got a new animated Batman movie. Oh yeah, yeah. We 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 looked at that tra- Kinda, that final trailer. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck are they thinking with that Harley voice? It's I so don't know. bad. I'm hoping that it's like Tara Strong was so busy much rage because if just... it's just because oh well we didn't want now fuck you. 
I mean, you, just give it to Terry. You've had the same Batman voice actor for twenty five fucking yeah. years. Just having to Come resist on. the urge to go the fuck off. Yeah. Like, why? Why? I got fuck off, Batman. Well, that's why I got back. That's why I said every earlier, animated <laughs> WB any every, every animated WB DC movie has to be every other one has to be a Batman one. Yeah. Not not even everyone. Everyone. No, yeah. You get Justice League Dark. Oh like fuck, we're getting Justice League Dark. No, you got to shoehorn Batman into it. <laughs> no, I mean, no, son of Batman. How are you it, it, it's Batman. Dark? Batman. It's Batman featuring Justice League oh, Dark. Yeah. yeah. My God, you have you you have every character at your right. disposal. You have all, every awesome story ever. Let's just suck off Batman for fucking two more hours. That's why when we were covering, covering Justice League just a little bit ago, I, I said I'm tired of Batman. There yeah. this seems to just be an oversaturation of Batman. His it's rogues like, gallery doesn't need any more shine. Yeah, please, go away. Give me a Green Lantern movie. Give me a Booster Gold movie like Ron said. Give me a fucking Flash movie. Give me something. Give me anything else. Literally anybody else. Everything I, is Superman. too Batman heavy. I remember playing in Justice 1. And it's like 18 or like, actually, no, it's like 22 of the 30 fucking characters were all Batman <laughs> characters. Was, like, are you close? Oh my God. I'm just, I'm oh tired my of Batman. God, I really am tired of Batman. I, I love him. Batman was one of my heroes growing up, but I'm fucking tired of seeing him now. Please give somebody else a chance. Anybody, literally anything else. Give me a plastic man movie before you give me another <laughs> Batman movie. <laughs> I mean, I got to say, I, I get why they did it. Right now, the animated universe, when they brought back and did the killing joke, while there's <clears> lots of the bullshit about that, um, they started doing that old animation again. Right. And you, I see, just from seeing that trailer, the fact that it was fucking the animated series style, right. I'm like, I'm in. I'm buying. I'm fucking probably buying that anyway, even right. though Harley's voice is... Oh my god! God awful. Honestly, that that turns me off to the whole thing because it, it, it it's bad. But it, sound, no, it sounds it sounds like she has Down syndrome. <laughs> like I'm dead serious. Like I whoever she her did voice an animated act- butt shot like ass shot is just yeah. mandatory every time you see Harley Quinn in Probably. a feature. You have yeah. to have her, her bending Nightwing over or something. Or and- fucking uh, or practically dry humping in one of those trailers yeah uh, here's I mean, a question why haven't they done the blackest night animated yet like that would be so I, I would, amazing i would I love that i don't know that would be I would love fucking that. amazing there's that would be so a, many would be stories good. they haven't yeah done yeah but no let's just let's just have a fucking let's just, random batman let's story. just do yeah. 17 batman stories in let's a row. just it's lean okay. on that crutch but again it's what sells I, like, I i know and i hate it but i'm, I'm so yeah. tired of batman it's like it's like with wolverine i'll burn my dollar before i give him a dollar for batman wolverine you know, Ron's wearing a Wolverine shirt, so it, it, it ties in. It's like Wolverine. It's like Deadpool said in that one issue. I don't remember which one, what one it was, but his superpower isn't healing or anything. It's, oh, it's popularity. popularity yeah. yeah, it's like there's how many there's it's like been, Deadpool kills the Marvel U. Yeah, that's what that, it was. I love that meme <clears throat> of Darkseid trying to trying to shoot Batman with his fucking Omega Beam or. And it's just it's just bouncing around him like perfectly. <laughs> shape. He's like, hold still, you fucking Mary Sue. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Batman just standing there. Uh, yeah, Batman. Batman is probably more Mary Sue these days, or at least in some of the stories, than Superman is because he's the Batman. He always wins. Like, no, fuck you. What's your he's just a dude with rich. money. Yeah. yeah, he says eventually, that. Like, eventually, he's gonna win. I love yeah, Ben I Affleck. Like, I, 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 I have so much disdain. I, I like. I've grew up loving Batman, man. Yeah. But like, there's just there's too much. I have yeah. so much. Dis- I've developed so much disdain for mm-hmm. for Batman because yep. of how fucking much they shove him in your face and how much everybody just. Everybody, take take Batman's cock out of your mouth for Please. five seconds Please. and pay attention <laughs> to some other superheroes and stuff like that. He's not. Whatever, I, man. I, I'm with Ron. There needs to be another Green Lantern movie. Like, there needs to be another. There needs to be more Green Lantern stuff out there. I like Green. I love Green Lantern. Like, John Stewart's my fucking Green Lantern. He's a badass. I want to see more of him. I'm not even saying. I mean, I I suggested Black as Night, but I don't even care. I mean, we have, I've gotten two animated Green Lantern movies: First Flight and uh, Emerald Knights. Yeah, but I that's two that. against Bat- Batman's like Knights. what five hundred. So I mean, come on. Yeah. Fucking chair. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't care. Give me a Plastic Man movie. I don't need another Batman movie. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Like I said, I'm done with Batman. I I'm don't... at a point. I'm at a point where I, I just, I see Batman. I go, Ugh. and you're not. They're not even doing it right. Like the, they did the Killing Joke, and they just came up with fucking filler half hour that was that was. Well, that was bullshit. Such they trash. Let's front. have Batman and 
See, I that sk- girl fucking on a rooftop. I, I skipped that. I skipped watching the Killing Joke. I, it's on HBO right now, so I may go back and watch it. I just watched but it. I, I, I was Killing excited. Part started. I was excited for made, it because yeah. it sounded so good. And I read. I had actually just read the comic not too long ago. They made, and it was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Because I heard it was going to be R rated, and then I was. It the, came out. I went to, to one of the theater for that. Yeah. It just I, came out to mediocrity. I hunted down one of the one of the times it was showing in theaters. Right, special event. They made a, a confused, dumb little little like ho out of Batgirl, right? Like with daddy issues. She was just like, so and Batman's just pathetic. a douchebag trying to get it in. He just like whatever. Yeah, shouldn't have done that afterwards. Uh, all right, all right. Let's let's move on before we re- rant for another Fuck hour. Fuck that movie. <laughs> yeah, let's move on before we rant. <laughs> I for paid money hour. to see that in the theater. <laughs> so glad I didn't start right. until halfway through. <laughs> All right, so just a little small something I want to touch on, but it's really kind of cool. If you are a Nintendo Switch de- approved developer, you can now get the Unreal Engine 4.16. You get the source code to that, and it's free. And it now includes full native Nintendo Switch support, so you are good to go. So if you're a dev, go on, uh, go on over and get that. That's good to hear that maybe, and with the Switch's success, uh, maybe some third-party developers will actually make games on a Nintendo console again? Yeah, no, I mean, it's so easy to get started <laughs> with Nintendo Switch, too. Like, the $500 dev kit, then you apply to be a developer, you get approved, you get your approval email, then you just shoot another, you shoot third-party at Nintendo.com, and it's like, hey, I want to be a Switch developer. Mm-hmm. And then they send you back, you get your approval email, and you fucking get Unreal Engine 4. It's it's a really nice development tool. I see some new games, not just ports. Right, yeah. yeah. I, and right now, the indie scene is actually lighting up on, on the Switch, and there are a lot of good indie games. And one thing, I'm, I'm always going to plug this game because it really is good, is fucking Shovel Knight. I love that game. Yeah. It's, it's been on, like, every console now, too. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's still an indie title. Yeah. And it's still on the Switch, and it's fucking great there. I love it. Um, so moving on to other things, something we probably all knew was going to happen, but they've delayed Red Dead Redemption 2. It's going to yeah. be... No one is surprised. No, not at all. And, you know, um, <clears throat> was a CEO of Take-Two, I think it was, said, we can do that because we know what we want. We Every want to make it... Rockstar we want, game has been... Right, really we want it yeah. to be perfect, and we know that we can release it any time and our fans are going to buy I, it because it's Red did. Dead. And it's like, yeah, you're absolutely fucking right. Like, I never played the original game, but I see all the love for it. Yeah, oh yeah, it's fucking I, I've, great. And I've seen clips of the story and stuff. Like, I, the very ending of the game <sighs> makes you fucking tear up. Like, I was crying like man tears when you yeah. see that shit. I it's mean, like, yeah. it's a Western. I should have <clears throat> known that it was coming, but... Yeah. That it is, still kind of almost comes out of left field on you. That was a tough scene. It like, happens. Because right. you're so used to, in video games, like, this is my protagonist. I'm playing as him the whole time. It's not going to happen No, him. no. And you you always win. win. The good guys always and win, right? he gets gunned down in front of a fucking barn, and, mm-hmm. and not just gunned down, like, it's kind of... It's, it's super brutal. execution. It's kind of like, fucked up. Like, like, there's like 15 dudes with he, guns He dies a you down. horrible fucking death. Yeah. He gets shot in the fucking face. Yeah. Like, like, like it, it's tough. It's rough. Like, like, you can't unsee that scene once yeah. you've seen that scene you can't it, it, unsee it. it will haunt you for the rest of your life <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. so that's that's really that's really cool um on other things Netflix- apparently uh just another note on that apparently there's shareholders a bunch of them freak the fuck out yeah like well dude, chill out seriously yeah seriously we know what the fuck we're doing i, mean, I don't know why they put a date when they announced it i think they should have just left the date as when it's done I I, I have so much more respect for a game developer when they do that. Like, I've yeah. mentioned this so many times in the past. Release the game when it's ready. Don't say, oh, we're going to release on November 3rd, 2019. Oh, okay. Is it going to be done by then? Yeah. Because if not, don't fucking release it. Yeah, you're going to get the game. With Rockstar, you know if, you know you're going to get the game when it's done. You know that it's done. If you are if you have it in your hands, that's, that's, it you is know done. done. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, you look G- at you look at the breadth, the, the incredible depth of GTA Five. Yeah, and how many I mean, they released the game, but the uh, GTA Online they delayed that and kept delaying that. Because, right, but to make it work, the main game was done. And, and, and you and you that. sit there and you look at how incredible, like, dude, all the shit you can do in GTA Five. Like, it's a better golf game than most golf simulators. Yeah. It's a better basketball game than a lot of basketball games, like tennis. tennis games. Right, like, there's so much in this in that game, and it took uh, and they release. One se- they released what Xbox 360 and PS3, yeah, and then it took them another six to eight months to release the PC and all the other ports because they wanted to get it right. 
and they even added more. It wasn't. Right. It didn't feel just like, oh, here's a port of the that game. No, it was like they added the first person mode. They right. added all these different things that it was just make it, it was legit. Slick. It was done so well. I remember yeah. put, putting that into my PS4 and playing in first person. One of my favorite things to do, just in any game, mm. in general, was to put in GTA Five and just put it in first person mode get off the beaten path, go into the woods, and just <laughs> randomly go look at stuff like, ooh, ah, everything's so pretty. And it right. was done so well. The perspective and point of view was done so well that it felt like you were there. I've never played really a cool. game where I felt more like a, the, a dude there in the first-person mode. Right. Um, like, it, it's, you it's feel, almost... You feel significantly more immersed. Yeah, it's yeah. almost at times where I have to switch it back to third person because it's like, no, nah, I, I, I don't want to get shot anymore. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, how that would be with VR or something? Like, oh, fuck. You want to talk about immersed, like... You are one hundred percent immersed in something like with like the vibe or something. Yeah. That would be that would be amazing, and apparently it does work in VR. But you know GTA Five, like that's given them so much goodwill. It sold eighty million copies since it since it was released. Like that is that's the fourth best selling game of all that's time. That's an insane number. It is in today's time. Like I, yeah. that's an insane number at any time in the video game timeline. Like that is nuts. Even like, including your Call of Duties and your yeah, yeah, every like, yearly release games. I mean, Red Dead Redemption was a game we were just talking about. We all know how popular that game is. How loved it is. You know how many copies it sold? Fifteen million. Yeah. So I mean, it's been. It was released seven years ago. It sold fifteen million copies. GTA was released just like what three, four years ago. You know how many copies? Eighty million. Andromeda sold like two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's be a little more fair. Now I'm sad. Two hundred thousand. <laughs> Come on, uh, but, that's, uh, a, that's kind of a little <laughs> bit of news is them getting put on uh, like indefinite suspension. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that studio. Not, it seems like they're not sure. They want a Mass Effect game, no, but well, they don't know if Andromeda is the direction they want to well, go. Well, yeah, with Mass you know, here's the thing they they want to continue with the Mass Effect series, yeah. but I don't think they're going to make a sequel to Andromeda in particular. And, and then figuring Honestly, out how they do you really make a sequel, not to get further off topic. Like they should just kind of let it die, let, like give it a few more years, let it kind of fade. And then announce a reboot. I would actually, no, I mean, not even a reboot. I would kind or of, or just a you new need to game. Go back to the Mil- yeah. You need to go back to the Milky Way. I actually kind of <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, we okay, we got this this awesome game where we go to the Andromeda Galaxy, and this stuff happens, and it ended in such a way where you don't really have to, you don't have to continue with that story. You can right. go back to the to Shepard and stuff like that. Yeah, they need to go back to Commander Shepard and those yeah. characters because that, yeah. I like. I'm sorry. That they were just that so is, well done. That's yeah. Mass Effect. Comparatively People speaking, love yeah. Tally, Garrus, Rex, all of, like uh, Commander. All the memes. I'm f- uh, Commander. <laughs> Commander fucking Shepard. That is Mass Effect. Yeah. He is Mass Effect. Yeah. You have to go back there. I'm sorry, Ubisoft or Bi- Bioware. I'm sorry. Whoever. You, you have matter. to go back. They all there. suck anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You have yeah. to go back and, and it's almost go back why to that I kind line. of agree with what you were saying, Joe. Um, I, you don't. I don't see them going anywhere with that storyline and it being good. Yeah. So let it go for a few years. Make a sequel. Don't reboot it. Don't say, "Oh, no, well, that stuff didn't happen." That's what Ghostbusters did. Yeah. No. That's embrace it. Embrace it problem. and just start a new game. There. Yeah, start a new in the Milky Way. Five, ten years later. Yeah, in game. Now it could be like, yeah, like three in terms years later of like storytelling and 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 stuff like that and character development. Yeah. They have an embarrassment of riches because people yeah. love them characters too much to the point where right. like there is like those characters are Mass Effect and yeah. you can't put any other characters in front of us. Like yeah, I loved Andromeda. It just wasn't the same. Yeah, it wasn't the same. It, it, it's like playing a game that is familiar and it, it but it's not. It's not quite right. There's the something off about. Tried to be the characters. Like this is right. a crazy Aspect. sci-fi story. Write your way out of it. Right. You can you can write your way out of. Mass yeah, Effect I mean, 3. come on. Uh, considering the technology that is there at just, the time, you you can't tell me there's not some Deus Ex just, Machina that would fit. Yeah, like whatever. The, it Mass Effect Three happened where Commander Shepard, when he takes his breath, you fu- when he f- fucking plummets from the 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 crucible. Yeah. Right. 
you know, ten years later, I'm five not, years later, something like that. I'm kind of he's, he's, he's yeah, just I'm kind of fuzzy as to whether or not that was the uh, the Paragon ending or the the canonical ending. But right. the only one at one where point that he is laying in is... rubble, and you see Commander Shepard take a breath. Yeah. Right, he's not dead. Uh, right. As long and as you don't start do... the game right there, right. right after that, the the one where you you have to die in two of them. I think the one where you take control and green. You have to die for those. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Where are the other ones you don't? Yeah. But yeah. Rockstar. Yeah. <laughs> do your thing, guys. It's okay. Rockstar, do. Thank you, Rockstar, for being you. Yeah. Like, yep. they're, they're seriously one of those companies that is as good willed as CD Projekt Red. Like, they're all they're all up there. They're upper tier echelon. Like, nothing, nothing really gets better than those guys because they do shit right. Yeah. They do shit so right. I mean, it's a little scummy with the shark card things, but I don't care. It's still good. Even with those, I will give them that nobody else puts sales and shit on right. their on right. their microtransactions. Right. Or gives that like, hey, sorry, our game was delayed. Here's a five billion uh dollars, dollars in game. for yeah. multiplayer because I, uh, you know, whatever. Right. I wanna I wanna say that's scummy, but I remember reading about or hearing about their reasoning behind having shark cards. They're like, we need to we need, make money somehow, right? And that's there for you, and you don't need it. And at honestly, all. honestly, for me, it doesn't even feel like it's it's microtransaction-y in the same way that something like Overwatch skins are, or something like or it, five different currencies in fucking just uh, Injustice Two, right? Like it, it's just there's one currency. Yeah. It's cash. You can earn it in game. It's just a little faster to pay twenty bucks and have. What five million or ten million or whatever you get for twenty bucks? It's like, oh, okay, cool. Now I pay twenty bucks. Now I can own six cars and four houses. That's fucking awesome. One benefit that I will give them definitely too over most other developers is, on top of that, um, their multiplayer has expanded a great deal. Right from and the beginning with no DLC packs. Right. You did not have to buy uh, uh, what are they called the mission modes or whatever yeah. they. Uh, yeah, no, they the just, heist mode. They just added it. They just added. It was stuff. it was heist. It was heist. online in general yeah. Yeah. that was delayed, but it was well, heist, heist that were delayed, delayed for longer. Like, yeah, like, like that was delayed like another yeah another year or but, so. Yeah. And they just I remember them just recently adding that within like the last six months because I'm a, new heists because I'm a part of a Discord server that says hey heists are releasing next week y'all want to yeah. try that like yeah let's do it. So I mean you know it, it's it's just one of those things where like they're still improving their game they're still supporting it they're making new content that is good and engaging so I can forgive them. If they're going to charge me twenty bucks for a shit t- shitload, a literal shitload of in-game currency, yeah, especially if it's a optional thing, yeah, any other one hundred percent optional, any other developer, like ha- most of the stuff in multiplayer would have been a DLC pack, uh huh, on top of having microtransactions. Got to buy map packs and buy the but weapons. Yeah, probably and stuff, would have yeah. had to pay fucking real money for certain cars and shit like that too. I mean, I've seen mobile games that do that. Like, uh, yeah, there was one Asphalt, Asphalt yeah. Eight, um. There's a there is a car pack that has two cars in it that is one hundred dollars. Fucking ridiculous! And it, it's just two uh, super high end supercars. I don't remember what they are now. On a fucking now. mobile game. On a <laughs> fucking mobile game. Yes. No, fucking go die in a fire. Um. All right. So I want to. I want. So now we're all pissed off. I want to yeah. brighten things up a little bit. <laughs> um. This past week, a little blind boy, fifth grader in Japan, sent Nintendo a very heartwarming letter. That basically thanked them for, you know, including people like him who can't see. At the age of two, he had uh, a retinoblastoma, which is a rare cancer that occurs in children. It blinded him. He had to have his eyes removed. But Nintendo has their series of games called Rhythm Heaven, and he's able to play those because it's just about music, and it's about noise, and it's about sound. And he thanked them and said, hey, I hope you guys do that. You know, keep making more of those games and make them a little bit harder. I'd be okay with that. And he thanked them for making games that he could play. And they responded. They were like, hey, thank you. Thank you for your support. I'll tell you guys what. We're going to show this letter to our developers. And we're going to make sure that we stay committed to including as many people as possible to play our games. To, to open that audience as wide as possible. And you know what? They really have. Yeah, Mario Kart's a... Really Mario Kart, example. yeah, Mario Kart's the perfect example of that because there's the auto steering and the auto acceleration and stuff, so that younger kids or maybe f- persons with disabilities that would, you know, maybe keep them from playing the game as I would or as you would, and like, yeah, they're including people who are disabled, and that's I think that's amazing. And so many people were so outraged 
at the yeah. auto controls and stuff in Mario Kart. It's like, fuck off. Yeah. It, like, what do you want to play with it? Don't. Yeah, you don't have to play. It's fucking optional. Yeah, it's a little little off that it's on by default, but it's fucking optional. Yeah. You don't want it, don't fucking use it. And people are like, but you can cheat. Not really. Like, I tested that this morning because I was curious to see how a multiplayer would play on Mario Kart because I just got a dock for my, my uh, Switch. So I plugged it up, fired up multiplayer. It splits the screen of vertically, which is perfect. Just boom. You got two sides. And I turned on auto accelerate. I turned on auto steering for the second player, and I just played. And you know what? You cannot fucking no, cheat. God, no. It, 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 I was on 50 cc's, and it could barely keep sixth place. Yeah. So, I mean, no, you're not. This is not something you can use to cheat. And if you've played Mario Kart online, I, I made the mistake of doing that a couple of times. It, it's uh, soul crushing. You, you have to hit every single jump. Yeah. You have to hit every fucking chance to drift boost. It's It's like. It, no, it's serious. It's, like it's it's actually serious. It's not a huge boon, and it, you can make it so you can't use that in multiplayer too. And and you know what though, if you turn on the auto steering, it won't let you take shortcuts. Yeah, and you can't hit the <laughs> you can't hit the third level boost. Checkmate, atheist. Yeah, it doesn't. I, good guy, Nintendo. <laughs> Shitty ass. I hate you, Ron. <laughs> God damn it, Ron. But yeah, you know, it's just like it's the stupidest shit they've come up with, and I don't know. But uh, another thing I want to touch on, let's go a different direction, somewhere, you know. Far Cry 5. There's so oh, much yes. controversy surrounding that image that, that they released. It is... How dare you make fun of America? It's so interesting. Like, it's interesting to me. Because you have so many games that are about shooting black people, or shooting people... Shooting like, brown people, bro- Muslims, Yeah, brown people Russians. in general. But, like, the moment it's a white American, it's like, oh, no, no, you can't do that. No, fuck you. Yeah. We totally can do that. And I want this game now. I really, really want this game I've now. heard some of the controversy is less uh, <clears throat> on, like, the, the religious bias or the racial bias. And it's yeah. like, well, this isn't a Far Cry game. It's it's set in Montana and this other stuff. And I'm like, well, look at what the story is going to get. Right. You've got this, like, cultish yeah. group of people. Yeah, uh, you, you're you have... stuck out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Montana. And there are guns Everywhere. The last yeah, supper perfect promo. Perfect for Far Cry. The, the yeah, last supper absolutely. promo shot of the villain and all yeah. in his group. That uh, was And I saw the background and I was like, I think I'm going to play this one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I I, and I did not get that feeling one time ever I mean, with Far Cry 4 or I, Primal. I, I have I'm, never. I think I'm going to play this I one. have never played a Far Cry game. Because I just never picked it up, never got into it. It was it wasn't like oh I don't like it, it's fucking terrible. It's, I never played them, I never got into them. This is the this is the game. One. This is the game just based on that 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 title shot. I want to play it. Yeah. Not not only that, but all the people who are complaining about it, like the commenter on IGN, I was like, this is, this better not be some anti white SJW bullshit. <laughs> it's like, dude. No, it's a bunch of crazy ass religious zealots. Doesn't matter whether they're Christian, they're Catholic, they're Scientologist, what the fuck ever, it doesn't matter. These are crazy extremists who are obviously in a cult. Yeah. Who are just fucking nuts. Like it's going to be good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cuz I mean, oh dude, it it, it just based on the image and the controversy, you're like okay, I got to play this. I really fucking do. As long as it it, it keeps the openness of Far Cry. I really hope they change some things up. However, we know we're going to be climbing towers to unlock the map. Yeah. Let's <laughs> just fucking <laughs> realize that now. Um, I don't know. I, I to me, I I'm loving it. I'm loving uh the, what they've shown so far. Hopefully you can beat the game within like 6 minutes if you, <laughs> something if crazy. You, yeah. They always they always throw stuff like that in there. I hope they something happens like that. Um, maybe yeah, no, something um, like uh, well, which one was it? Was that the last one where if you sat there at the yeah. table you for fifteen said, minutes, yeah. you, the game's over and you win? That's yeah. it. Technically, the most positive ending too. Yeah, you don't you it's, don't endorse uh, uh, like genocide marriage and shit or like that. Yeah. Uh, slave la- slave labor for drug oh, fields. Oh God, no, yeah, oh yeah. The the other two endings of that game are pretty fucking dark. 
Uh, but this is what people are up in arms about. Slavery is yeah. fine with us. And child marriage, it's okay. No, they're shooting white people now. We got to say yeah. something. <laughs> it's okay when they're shooting. <laughs> the them. Russians are like, and hey, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, don't shoot Russians or don't shoot the blackies or the that's darkies. All, that's all I any mean, like South Park Operation, get behind the darkies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of the Emancipation Proclamation? I don't listen to rap music, son. <laughs> like, God damn it, South dude. Park. But, uh, yeah, oh, it's like, I, I, I like it. I, I like the idea so far. And there's been so little that's been revealed, but sometime later on today, because um, it's Friday, guys. We record on Friday and release on Sunday. But to, sometime today, uh, I, I, think was, I think it was 9 or 10 uh, a.m. PST. 26th, yeah. Yeah, today's 26th. Today. Uh, they're supposed to release the actual uh, a trailer, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a live stream trailer. So. IGN exclusive. Yeah, I'll watch yeah. on YouTube after hey man, it gets ripped. <laughs> I follow I follow Alana Pierce on uh, Instagram. Yeah, uh, Char Alanazard, mm -hmm. and uh, she's like she got the Dark Siders three thing. She got the Far Cry five thing. Like they're they're getting IGN has they're that. getting all if the scoops want, now. It felt like they weren't for a long there, time. Like or at least nothing I cared about. Now it seems like we. First, IGN, if it's not first leaked, IGN. if it's not leaked to someone else like Kotaku or one of the other smaller Ugh. sites, then IGN will almost always get the exclusive, right? Because oh, yeah. they they are the biggest voice. Their game their game reviews are fucking terrible, but they're a pretty good source yeah. of news. I gotta say, so yeah, I can't, the I only can't game reviews I like, and I don't really like his opinions. I just like him. Yeah, <laughs> Damon Hatfield. <laughs> Damon Hatfield, like he yeah. did. A, he's he's oh fuck what reviews. Oh, never mind. He's doing a review soon. And, and he you did just a review did, recently right. that I dug. Oh, like you just enjoy the style. You don't care yeah. what the, you don't care what he says. Yeah. It's just I like the OGs, right? I like, you know, Damon Hatfield and and you know the the you know a few other like one other guy from from IGN. He does Unlocked, um, and then you got your Sesslers and right, right. You know. Oh, I miss Adam Sessler. Yeah. All right. Um, Moment of silence for Adam Sessler because he's not really in the video game industry anymore. Don't worry. We're not actually going to have a moment of silence. We did this. <laughs> we pushed him away. We, we yeah. killed him. Well, no. Gamergate, while he was at Rev3 Games, right. pushed him away. All right, so him uh, going to having to sit at a in a chair at E three for three straight days pushed him away from oh my video God, games. Yeah, I think he looked like he was mind. in literal pain, like literally. In I pain. think I would kill myself at that point. All right, so yeah. uh, let's move on. What else you got? What else? You said you you just said you had something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one last thing. I want to leave you guys off with is uh, for anyone who's living in Texas. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, because uh, now you can go boar hunting from a hot air balloon. I have no I idea. What it. I saw that what? post on Reddit. <laughs> it has nothing I to do with anything. I saw that post on Reddit, and I upvoted it because you know what? Boars are a problem. Yeah. They they're, are they're, assholes. Wild hogs they're, are a big they're problem. They're overtaking. They're assholes. They're, yeah, they're and fucking assholes. Hot air balloons. What else? What the fuck else are you doing with them? Put some goddamn snipers up there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, have a good old time. You make weather balloons. Exactly. Okay, that's useful. Let's kill some fucking pigs. Make some bacon. You exactly. Know. All right. So on to an actual story. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> We got uh, – Microsoft ne has just started uh, their Netflix-style game subscription. Yeah. Which is really cool, but apparently it's only available to uh, gold members, right? Yeah. Um, some, it's like an extra $10 a month on top of whatever you're paying for Xbox Live Gold. Um, and there's like 100 or so games available. And it, that just starts yeah. – when did that start? Like today or – It or? started yesterday it started for yesterday. gold subscribers and it starts I think on June, June 3rd. 3rd. Yeah, for, for, for everybody, everybody else. else. Um, you get a 14-day free trial. Um, like uh, – Has anybody seen the list? Like are they mostly yeah, Xbox well, I mean I can just games? I can just list off the games that are right – they're, you know, out right now. Um these obviously all, A to stuff. Z, Halo Five Guardians, right. Lego Batman. That's the first one. NBA Two K Sixteen, Payday Two, The Crime Wave Edition, uh, Bioshock Infinite, Saints Row Four Reelected, Mega Man Legacy, Sega Vintage Collection, Streets of Rage, and XCOM: The Enemy Within. Uh, apparently, there also is going to be uh, Borderlands. The, the Borderlands games will also be included. I hope so. Um, 
Especially, uh, I mean, yeah, Borderlands 2 I still, is still my favorite. Download games shooter. directly to your console and play online or offline in full fidelity, which you could not do with PlayStation Plus. Not with right. my internet, and I had good-ass internet. Right. It's even it's even better here now. So, I Without, mean, so no streaming connectivity issues, yeah. none of that bullshit. You just download and go. I mean, it, of course, still takes time. But, yeah, uh, yeah you, you can download them to your system. If you decide that you want to keep them beyond yeah. the availability period, you get a little discount. Yeah, another the, cool thing, you get 20% on Xbox One game purchases and 10% on all related add-ons. This sounds like a an, a, an ad we're reading, but it's... it's. I mean, it basically is. Yeah, yeah it kind of awesome. is. I mean, but, I mean, that, that that's something that I think is really, really cool. Um, I, I don't know how to really react to it because it's not the first well, service of its kind. This like, is a thing that video games needs, and mm-hmm. PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now just didn't do it right. Um, I think I had it, and I hate. I, I mean, hated it. Um, my could. experience with Nvidia's version of it is really positive. They're, they're yeah, I'm a, I'm a console. Their their uh, their version of it is. I mean, I I don't care for it, and I won't pay for it. But I got like a number of months free with my shield tab purchase. And I have to say like streaming from my PC is shit because I think Nvidia's software is kind of screwy with that, but streaming from their servers to my shield tab, it was really fluid. It was really nice. It was, it was responsive. So, I mean, that worked really well. Um, of course, this is different. You're not streaming the game. You're downloading the game. So it's going to be a whole different echelon of performance. Yeah, got a few questions like, you know, how far after release right. are all games going to be on this? Like, that would be nice. And if so, how far after a game's release will you be able to play it on Game Pass? And, right. And how long? Is it going to be 30 days? Is it 15 days? What is it? I mean, it's going to be not, long enough to complete the game, as, I think, is yeah, the biggest. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, they haven't really... Gave a concrete answer there or answered that um, question in any way. I'm right. also wondering, so. are you limited by space or how many games are you allowed to have downloaded at one I just, time? From you're, this? you're downloading it directly to your console. I would assume yeah. it's space on your hard drive. Yeah, I mean, I, can, I mean, with that's Netflix, what I would expect, but who knows? Like I mean, you're essentially might... borrowing the game. I mean, with Netflix, yeah, yeah it, it's a rental type service. You just, you just, I mean, Netflix has downloads now too, and if it, if it is. I mean, they're comparing it directly to Netflix, and Netflix downloads. I mean, you're limited by device. There are only certain so many devices that are supported, but you're only limited by the amount of space you have on whatever device you're downloading to. Yeah. So I mean, if if it is like that, that that, answer, that may answer that question. I'm I excited know. about this. I really like this. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Mood. Honestly, yeah, it is. I mean, everybody wants Netflix for games. They just... I mean, yeah, it's something. I mean, it's something Nvidia has been experimenting with for a couple of years now. And you got, of course, you, you mentioned PS Now, which is expanding to PCs. Either either it already has or it will be soon. So I mean, that's kind of cool. It's a hundred dollars a year though, and Gee, yeah, no yeah. Thanks. I'm sitting there thinking like that sounds cool, but how many PS4 exclusives would I really want to play that badly? Yeah. And for me, one comes to mind is Bloodborne. Yeah. Because Bloodborne, we played Bloodborne. PlayStation Now was I. It was a total total bore. Like, yeah. In the game, the times I would get on there, like, oh, I'm curious what what's on there. I get yeah. on there, pop a game in. Immediately, my connectivity, I would get connectivity issues, right. and I would get booted out of the game. Right. Like, they had a lot of older games. More like often than too, not. Right? Peggle! Well, oh, yeah, I Peggle. mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember playing God of War, uh, right. uh, Ascension, the... Third one? Or... The one after the third one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never played that one. Yeah, I mean, either. I don't know. I, I think it's interesting. Not, not really. Uh, I think... Like one... 25 minutes until I get booted <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that stuff like that does ruin the experience, which is why I think Microsoft taking the download route is a much much better idea. You don't have to set up server farms and, and have all that going. It's just hey, this is already this is something we already have in place. So you want to just do it? This is yeah. an idea, and I think this is something that they alluded to when they first announced the Xbox One um, that they failed miserably to get anything right when talking about the console. This kind of oh, seems yeah. like it was all well, in that idea of um, doing away with discs yeah. and you know doing all download stuff and not being able to share you know just hand a disc to somebody. This I think was a big part <laughs> of that. 
that never oh, got realized because they were so shitty at conveying their ideas. And immediately everybody, and myself included, went, no, fuck you, that's yeah. stupid. I mean, th- that, 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 that DRM, the DRM, yeah. the DRM idea was really what yeah. killed it for me. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, they, they were, they went full on Nazi. It's got to be online like, all the time. All yeah. the time. And it's you like, can only have this many, only right. this, this many people per whatever. Like, no. It's like, on, no, 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 don't stress that stuff. Stress the good things you're going to be doing with this. Right. Yeah. Like, they, like, they realized the error of their killing ways. GameStop. They realized they yeah, done fucked it really quickly. And then they put uh, Phil Spencer in charge and he's done a pretty bang up job. I remember hearing him on uh, Unlocked. He was a guest on podcast unlocked it's an ign podcast and uh he was asked he, and he's he said he had two immediate goals he need, he wanted to get out a new piece of hardware that's the xbox scorpio and from uh, every inclination to believe that that is going to be based on the specs like a really awesome piece of tech it's going to put ps4 pro to shame anyways right. Sh- supposed to anyways it's finally going to compete with uh, some uh, and this, gaming rigs and mm-hmm. this seems pretty awesome. Right. So fucking good guy, Phil Spencer. I mean, I, 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 his next thing better, like number three needs to be getting more exclusives or at least getting more developers. Yeah, they need to they they need shit games the bed so that, hard with that. I mean, I, can I just indulge my, my nerdier side here and just – I take a slight issue with their six teraflop claim. Like, okay, that's cool. It's a lot of power. But it's like – it's not as much power as you guys are claiming it to be. You know, they're sitting there. It's going to yeah, play if, four if, four at sixty frames. It's like okay. Well, they're I back in the way on that now. Oh, well, but if you're I, a PC I, gamer. That's going to seem like dog. Well, like, I mean, yeah. Like here's that's shit. the point I'm getting to. It's like okay, my video card alone can do. A, I think it's either five point six three or five point nine three teraflops. That's not including what my processor and my RAM boosting it can do as well. So my video card alone is as powerful as the Xbox Scorpio the entire yeah. system. And my video card cannot do 4K gaming. Yeah. So that's like oh, yeah. I, I take a little bit of issue with what what you're claiming. If you're going to backtrack on that, okay, fine. It, 4K gaming at 60 frames, it's it's rough. I can tell you it's very rough. I've tried it. It don't work too well for me. And I have a very powerful system, but it's just, um, I, I don't know. It, I, I, I take issue with that claim. Just it's the, all going to depend on the just developers, the, com- too. The, the computer nerd in me takes yeah. issue with that claim. Now, I realize the Scorpio is not going to have the overhead of Windows, so I, I totally understand that it is going to have more of that 6 teraflops for power, but it's just like 6 teraflops is not impressive to me. It might be the most powerful home console ever. I but mean, you're speaking a foreign language to right. me as somebody who's that's been on why that's what they hyped too. Right? It's yeah. because 99 percent of people aren't going to go uh, teraflops. Oh my god! Yeah, like, like it, just, it just basically means it can do six billion floating point operations per second. Nothing too special. It's just no. Mm-hmm. It's just math. It's just math. That's all it is. And that's 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 impressive that's for a home console. Surprising, but. Like in the PC space, we've had teraflops of power for for years now. I mean, even my gaming PC built back in 2012 that I gave to my dad could do teraflops of power. So it's like I'm not that, impressed. That's surprising because like I can't remember like all the specs off the top of my head, but I did look at them at one time and compared them to you know the PS4 Pros and stuff, and it's it's vastly superior to the to the Pro. Yeah. So. The, uh, I think they had released how shitty specs is before, the PS4 Pro? But uh, I don't. I don't think they they're even going with the same card they originally, at least was rumored. I, I'm wondering if the specs have officially come out yet, or what it's no, going they did. to have. Did like it? they when they first you know revealed it? Yeah. So they announced what to, card. What kind of it card up. is it going to be? A brand new Nvidia card or? Oh, I mean, I'm not sure. I have Wait, to what look we, it up. I'm but sorry. I, the I'm, Scorpio. But they released a list of specs. I thought it was they AMD. A list of specs or AMD, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, it's AMD. AMD. It's using one of their newer techs, the Ryzen and Vega techs. Okay. Or, is it Vega? Go. Yeah. So, that's, I why mean, we, that's why we have Joe on this podcast. But it's like, yeah. and like, and don't get me wrong, AMD is going in the right direction with their new power. Like, their new graphics are to find that fucking Ryzen platform is good. It's not as good as they say it is. It's nowhere near as good as they say it is. But it's still really fucking amazing. And so I applaud them for that, but I just I take issue with some of their claims. 
like benchmarks have shown time and time again that the new X eighteen hundred does not perform at the level they say it does. It it approaches that level. It's good enough, but it's not the level they said it was. Mm. So I mean, it's really good. I look forward to it, but like I said, six teraflops of power to me that's not impressive. Considering just five years ago I had a PC that did three or four teraflops of power that cost less than the Scorpio did. Yeah. Devs are doing a good job of selling it anyways because mm-hmm. I'll listen to like devs talk about it and they're like, we're so excited to have all this extra power I'm sure at you our are. disposal. And Unlim- I'm, unlimited power. I don't, I don't want to like down it. You guys not, have you never developed for a PC? Like, a, a I, I don't I, see, that's the thing. I don't want to down it. Like, I don't want yeah. to shit on it, but it's like I just, I'm not impressed. Like I said, my, my video card alone has – over five teraflops of, of calculation capu- you know, capacity, so it's like that's not even factoring in my my CPU. It's not factoring in what my RAM can help with. So it's like I don't know. I'm just I I I, I applaud them. I think that's awesome. I don't believe their 4K gaming 60 frames a second mess because I can't do that with my really high end rig. So I I don't know. I. Uh... I, Maybe I hope some of the developers manage to make you know sixty FPS, four K games. Um, however, I'm, the vast majority of developers, it's not going to be. Like I said, I'm not. I'm, I, I, that's yeah. what I'm trying. Like I'm not trying to say that it's not Fucking possible. Destiny, oh no, no, I understand that. Yeah. Destiny I'm, I'm 2 is releasing talking about on the new consoles, like, and it's only so running powerful. at thirty frames per second. Yeah, because yeah. The, because they don't want the Scorpio to be that much better than everything else. They want, See, that's the they want that that's game to be the release was, and be the same yeah, everywhere. I was going to say that's why all the video game devs are like, we have the, the, all this extra power at our disposal right. because whatever yeah, it is on consoles is what it is going to be on PC because they don't want PC I mean, to be P- that much, va- to be uh, so vastly Well, see, that's superior. the thing, though, with Destiny. It's like Watch Dogs, remember? Well, it's like with Destiny, though. Destiny is going to be 60 frames on the PC. It, it's going to be it's going to be sixty frames on the PC. It's the Scorpio that they're gimping on purpose mm. to match the other consoles, which yeah, I fair. think is retarded. If you got the power, dude, fuck it, fuck Sony, fuck the PS4, show it off, use it, <laughs> show me what those six teraflops of power can do. Don't show me what my whatever teraflops my fucking computer can do. I already know what that can do. Yeah. Show me what those six teraflops can get you. If you have those six teraflops can get me Destiny 2 running at 4K, 60 frames a second, do it. Well, then the PlayStation 5 couldn't boast 60 frames per second guaranteed every game for every game. I, I just I don't get I mean, I don't, I don't even see they them always being able to boast 4K more. Right. games the way they, they're talking. Like, I mean, you're I, pushing... Very you're pushing, few are going to be 4K. You're pushing 8 million feeling. pixels, yeah. updating 60 times a second. I'm fully... Every time I hear the word 4K, I just see like parentheses next to most it, games that have per, come out like, for even playstation 4 pro that's the case yeah they run 4k it's it, upscaled it's yeah. what it is they, they take a 1080 game yeah. they take a 1080 game they upscale it to 4k i've yeah. seen actual 4k and oh my god yeah it, it's they're not, they're it, not it, no they're not pushing i mean i've played the witcher 3 in 4k it is goddamn gorgeous but you're not hitting 60 frames <laughs> you're just not and that's one of those games that is so well optimized, you could run it on a high end toaster. So, I mean, <laughs> straight up. Black right, and so, white. Yeah, no, so, totally. Like, but uh, I, I don't know that that's it. Um, I think that's it for us. And um, we're going to go ahead and wind down here. And uh, we want to thank you guys for listening with us. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, so, rate, like us, subscribe, share us with like-minded friends and uh do all those things the youtubers and the podcasters tell you to do please check out our facebook ungodly geeks we're ungodly geeks on twitter facebook and instagram so go check us out like us share us like that head towards the facebook page or and ask questions there we're working on the instagram page (laughs) i'm I'm pretty if you ever you know i'll feel free to tweet the the uh the the, uh, twitter account i'm always active on there i'm always posting things around again we upload every sunday also every sunday all right so that's it for us for the ungodly geeks i'm joe i'm ron i was luke and we're signing off because i don't have anything to say this week hey later fuck konami